They're doing a much better job inside the painted area, but the one team that has beat them in this reinvention is Syracuse. NC State looking for some get back after losing two to the Orange this year. Starting lineup, Hayes, Sebron, Hellams, Thunderbird, and Bates. So they're trying to go to 6-0 and with this unit, and they're off to a nice start as the first bucket of the game. Banged home by Manny Bates. On with the shooting of Lake, Quincy Geary, Alan Griffin, and Marek Dolajai. Dolajai playing with an injured finger on his left hand that's hampered him lately, and Buddy Beheim has the first two for the Orange. To play with freedom, especially on the offensive end of the floor, but asking a lot of them on the defensive end to stay out of foul trouble. Cam Hayes, the freshman, knocks one home. Very comfortably and confident. Same with Cam Hayes, who's been in double figures in his last five games. They played twice in the regular season. Syracuse won both. They were both close. And Alan Griffin was the star of both Syracuse wins. He averaged 20 and a half points per game. And a foul call. And great action. Alan Griffin just stepping into his shot and knocking it down. Sebron didn't get out the blocks quickly this season where Coach Keats and his staff is expecting a lot more of him as Gary a knocks down the three. Seems likely to be in the NCAA tournament. Derek Cole Hellams missed a shorty, got his own rebound and scored. Most of the time, which means that Hellams can't spend as much time in the middle of that zone. Hellams fires a three, great position inside, and the putback by Sebron. You can see NC State very aggressive in attacking the offensive glass. Lob to Gary, perfectly fed by Alan Griffin. It's been easy to say, well, sorry, fellas, COVID made it impossible. It's probably more memorable than if they had the traditional senior night ceremony. Boy, they continue to do big work inside the Wolf Pack. See right now, they're flexing their muscle against Syracuse in that painted area. Also recognizing that Dolajai has to stay on the floor. Doesn't want to get in foul trouble as Gerard is able to knock down the mid-range jump. Another offensive rebound there, fifth, but then Bates had it blocked by Garrier and scooped off the floor by Dolajai. And Sean, I'm not sure if you paid attention to this, but wouldn't you have thought that Quincy Garrier would have gotten a little more attention in the most improved voting this year? Buddy Beheim, much improved in that area, getting his own shot. Tough pass by Gerard. He was lucky to get it back from Beheim. Beheim open for a long three and gets a friendly hop off the rim. And Allison Williams, delighted to have you with us. Second round action at the New York Life ACC tournament. Syracuse with a 10 point lead. They've shot 75% so far, nine out of 12. That's Manny Bates. Gary A already has one three. That one's way short, but rebounded by Alan Griffin, the transfer from Illinois. Buddy Bayheim, he's on fire. It took him a while to recover. He was lethargic, didn't have his legs when he returned to action. Now fully healthy. There's Braxton Beverly with a three. As Kevin Keats said he's in his 10th year at NC State. He's one of those guys who feels like he's been there forever. He really is. And Braxton often plays like yes, forever. But Buddy Bayheim right now is on fire. Keats, Buddy backed up from the line, and it still was like a layup for him. Nothing but net. Shaquille Moore. That's a three from the corner. Goes into the best shot blocker in the league in Manny Bates, who rebounded the Edwards miss. Beverly, that's a thousand plus. Had an excellent freshman season from Bobby Gray, very sore knee lately. Dolajai knocks one home from about 14 feet. Problem for NC State, that person has been Buddy Behan, and he is making NC State pay every time he touches the basketball. Edwards might have gotten away with a travel. The Wolfpack certainly thinks he did. He laid it in. He committed 39 turnovers combined in those two games. It's almost as if the team rallied around him at that point. Bayheim a two from the free throw line. Largest lead now for Syracuse. Started six and one, lost eight of ten. And they lost Devin Daniels. Or perhaps a discard there that Dan Hayes got away with and freed himself up for three. Helping keep a Gary a on the bench with his two fouls. Six rebounds already for Edwards. Shot clock about to expire. Richmond a line drive. Feel as though they can win their matchup against Braxton Beverly, a smaller defender. And Kadari Richmond at 6'5, 6'6, taking advantage of that. Helms 
Jericho Helms. In the absence of Devin Daniels, he's their leading active scorer at 13 per game. Nice move by Dolajai. Had to adjust in the air to avoid two defenders. I would love for that to be the case. I think that Syracuse has had a very good season. You and I have talked about it off air about the fact they haven't had the bad loss this year. 20 plus now for the fourth time in the last eight games. Corner three goes for Helms. Been a force off the bench, nine points. Helms, tough fade away. Battle for it and put up and in by Darion Sebron. And rack up a couple of wins here in Greensboro. That's a three for Quincy Carrier, his second for the sophomore from Montreal. One of the toughest players for Syracuse, and he has shown that throughout his career. Oftentimes undersized, but never backs down. Players on their team with more than 70. Buddy Beheim the curl. Gerard, a three, their ninth of the game. Up on the floor, cost his team a three on the defensive end. Again, as a freshman growing up in this league, it can be tough. Dolajai stood in there as if he was going to take the charge. There's just a little bump. Going for the assist. Beheim hit another three, and he got fouled by Braxton Beverly. Of course, Coach Larinaga winning the ACC Tournament Championship in 2013 in this building, so he likes his chances whenever he gets an opportunity to walk into the Greensboro Coliseum. I often think Gary is the forgotten guy when you talk about the talented sophomore class that includes Matthew Hurt, Justin Champion. Quincy Gary, one of those guys also that needs to have mentioned. They like playing in this building, particularly his son. There was a lot of talk at that time last year about could North Carolina come into the tournament and win five games to make it to the, to the NCAA tournament. Good hands again. Beverly. And the dunk, and here comes a spark for NC State, a Sebron finish it. Now as they give you see the defensive energy, the effort level, Kevin Keats almost at half court in a defensive stance of his own, and that's killed by Joe Girard. 12 points for Girard, the 11th three of the game for the Orange. Helms, nice dunk down, uh, the dunk for Thunderbird. Gary, a nice baseline cut, and he gets the bounce. Clock, clock down to five. Alan Griffin, Braswell's open. Awkward catch, and he still made the three from the corner. First points of the game for Robert Braswell. Practice? We practice. talking about practice? He's one for two today, so that percentage going up. Dolajai the roll, and Gerard found him for the dunk. Old North Carolina State defender wants to leave him. So no one rotates over to take away the free run for Dolja. Shaquille Moore rattles home at three. In a building right down the street from where his family lives. He had never been to an ACC game as a kid that had played here. Count the bucket for Braswell as he was on his way to the floor and he still made it. He has the pack back within 16. And Alan Griffin nicely down the lane. Syracuse with an 18 point lead, seven and a half to go. Back cut and finish by Griffin. He has four assists. Bayheim left open. 27 for Buddy Bayheim. Seven here in the second half. He is 27, too shy of his career high. Nice drive by Cam Hayes, and he's fouled. Chance for three for the pack. In this freshman class, top 75 consensus recruit. Kevin Keats thinks he has three more good players coming next year. The fadeaway by Griffin, and the soft touch. He's one of four Syracuse players in double figure. On the stretch in the regular season. Tellums, time running down on this NC State season. Nice play by Manny Bates. Got a little bit of a problem with the All-ACC defensive team, though, Sean. Why is that? No Kihei Clark. Mm -hmm. Kihei Clark, who basically took Harley Jones out of the ACC Player of the Year running. Somebody got to go. Who are you going to take off? As much as I love him, Jordan Golwa. When a team, when team scored 91, 93, 91 against you, 
Braswell's been a factor off the bench today. <laughs> Government of North Carolina allowing 2,500 fans into this big building. Syracuse had a five-point lead of the half, but they opened the second half with a 10-0 run and were never really seriously challenged.